Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Hurricane. In the last episode, we had collected Madame Fleury's uh, lost necklace and she joined our party. In this episode, we are now going to take Madame Fleury, Super Appeal uh, Partner, uh, with us to the uh, Great Tree. I almost always forget that the treasure chest in Fleury's bedroom. So I'm glad that I remembered this time. Because we are after 100%. I see that glow. Star piece. And in between, uh, we'll be okay. Oop. I was going for a first strike. I want to show off Madame Fleury's ability. So Madame Fleury, or just Fleury, I guess, has two abilities. Gale Force, attack all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. And Body Slam, plunge down onto an enemy from above. We're going to start with Gale Force. This is kind of like Squirt from the first game. And what's different is that you actually still gain star points from defeating enemies this way. Okay. Oh. The other ability she has is Body Slam, which is this automatic uh, kind of jump. Let's do a power bounce. And then we'll swap and use Hammer. The good news is we'll be done dealing with these uh, dark puffs here soon. Because for some reason, clouds can't appear inside of uh, big old trees. Which is great. And the same with clefts too. Gosh dang it. Okay. Gale Force again. And there we go. By the way, guys, if I do sound just a little bit different in this episode compared to the last episode, it is because I've gotten improvements done to my aligners for my teeth aligning. And now there's, there's kind of like pins in my mouth to help raise my upper jaw so that it is no longer giving me what was referred to me as a gummy smile, which it really ruins a lot of photographs that I am in. Okay, so with Madame Fleury, let's get up here and Madame Fleury, Remove the invisible thingy. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, gosh. The secret entrance gag gets me every single time. Okay. Junior, uh, that's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Aren't punies just the most precious little things? Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? Is that what they're calling the princesses of Rogueport? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Fleury the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the... I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. 
It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out! I was able to open it from the inside! Come over here! The time has come for me to repay my debts to the punies. Come along, Mario! Well, that's very sweet of Madame Fleury. Hurry up! Go inside! I would. You're in my way. Hello? Hello? Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everyone's right here. What the hey? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out. Hello? Oh, Punio, you should know by now. You never shout when there's evil people around. What? Who are you guys? How'd you get in here? Whoa, dude, is that, isn't he that Mario guy? What? He is, we'd better get him then. But dude, Lord Crump told us to tell him immediately if we found Mario, remember? You idiot, use your head. If we capture him, we'll get all the credit, man. Duh. Oh yeah, right on. Let's rock this chump. One, two, three, break. Okay, we can't flee this fight. So let's start by swapping to Goombella. And we're actually going to start with a power bounce. I guess I should have used it on this back one. That's an X. That's an X knot. Says here it's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means that they're just low level foot soldiers? Max HP is 4, attack is 3, and defense is 0. They drink these potions to make them all big and burly, then they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Use special moves and items. Ooh, I became immune. Yes, Toad, give me the mushroom. Okay, and let's swap to Madame Fleury. Jump, jump. And body slam. Madame Fleury really knows how to crush the enemy with her stage presence. <laughs> C crud, that stung, man. Dude, maybe reporting back to Lord Crump isn't such a bad idea after all. And off they go. And they lock the door. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everyone leave? Gee, I wonder. Two of them just came up to us. Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found a powerful ally. He, he's huge. Uh, are you sure he... Oh, it's a different one. I thought it was Punio. Uh, are you sure your huge mustachioed man won't try to eat us? Huh? Hey, who else is back there? Oh. He's massive. I don't like him. He'll crush us danger. Nice stash. He scares me so burly. Now, don't worry, everyone. This is Mario, and he's our friend. He's here to help. 
All those bad guys! Mario, stomp every one of them, just like the last goons! Oh my goodness, they are precious and must be protected. Is this it? Uh... Elmo, is this it? The show few! Well, we'll have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario! Wait! How do we really know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them. Beauty Bear, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ha, big bad Punio. Listen to yourself, trying to sound all important like. Have you no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone? What? What are you talking about, Juniper? And why are there so few of you here anyways? What happened to everyone? Well, they've been captured by those goons. The Elder, everybody, including your sister. Mario's just standing there like, I have no, I have no investment in this conversation. <laughs> He's just like, look at that branch way over there. <laughs> oh, it's so all right. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we went and told them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we'd never heard of it. Oh, poor Petunie. When that happens, it's absolutely terrible. We've all got to look for them right away! What are you saying, Punio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The cursed Jabi tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make the tree their own once we've been driven from it. This is it for us. The end. And adding this hairy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You can't know that! We have to try, don't you see? Think about it, if we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jabby. And who, so who's with me, huh? Come on everyone, let's pull our strength! Ha! Punio, 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 you'll have to convince me, because I think you're nuts. What's that spell speaking? It means you're nuts. Tell you what, you and Mr. Smustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the tree, then I'll join your little crusade. Ha! Like that'll ever happen, please. Fine! We'll show you! Right, Mario? Right? Come on, follow me to glory! Let's go help them! Okay. So what I want to do is search all of the bushes and let's heal our FP and save. Now up we go because this is the only way we have right now. Okay, that's a lot of secrets in bushes. I say, expecting to find some secret bushes. Ah, there we go. Power punch. And I want to save that for the end of the chapter this time. Okay. Swap partners to Goombella. Let's do a power bounce on the first. X not. And let's tattle you. That's a yuck. Says here it's a creature created in the X not labs. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if any mini yucks appear, Take those out first. Duh. T 
battle. That's a mini yux. A creature made to protect a yux. It can split into two. Max HP is one, attack is zero, defense is zero. These twerps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yux. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yux. Flurry is pretty effective. Ah, because I can use Gale Force to blow them all away. So now we're going to swap again. We're going to land the... Yeah! The Shine Spray! Bingo! Max. And now, Goombella is going to head bonk. Yeah! Three start points. So let's go up. Okay. Power. Even better, all I have to do is land one hit on that. Perfect! And let's swap to Goombella to do a head bonk. We are gonna get another level up in here, which is great. So, while we're exploring, let's collect and head on up. Do, do, do. Ba, ba, ba. Oh. Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it. And they live here. After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Um, ouch. Some mysterious, uh, mysterious shadow thief is in the room. El Elder! Punio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescue, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Hmm, let me mm, think. Let me think. Oh, wait, ah, yes, I'm gonna... Right. Your question. Big Brother! The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are locked. Away in the other cell. Oh, my God. I don't mind telling you. Those uncouth... <laughs> uncouth. <laughs> just have no consideration... <laughs> oh, goodness. ...whatsoever for the elderly. None. None, I tell you. Honestly, I have to ask. What a puny like me is supposed to do in a situation like this, I ask you. Please, I want to know. But anyway, <laughs> puny, listen. Uh. Listen to your elder. I have to say something. Vital to you. Listen up. Hmm, let me think. Where was I? Ah, yes, right. Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are Okay, locked. so now it's Away looping. The cell. I don't mind telling is, you. Is that, that my punio? Goons just have no consideration. Petuni! Thank you, friends. You're here. You're safe. Oh, I like that she has a pink little light bulb. I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Well, of course I would, dear sister. And I've brought us a mighty eye. Look at him. We're going to get you out of there right away, I swear. You just all dead for a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We've got to find the cell key, but we're going nowhere. Well, I'm going to assume the cell key is over here. Oh, there's the dead body. Hmm, oh well. Isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway, I heard there was a nice 
there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Kiss! <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. Who do you think you are, you total floozy? Goombella. Is it because you have no arms? It's, it's because of that. Miss Mouse there has arms and you don't. The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Oh. Oh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty, and I'll be doing the dirtying. Okay. We can't flee this fight, but he only has 4 HP, so... Boink, boink. Ba da da la da da. Oh, he evaporated into the red key. And we got an ultra shroom. That's super awesome. I think it's because. If you balanced your HP or did an HP only run, you technically would have enough heart points. Okay. <laughs> who goes locking up an old who goes locking up an old woman in a place like this? Red key. Ildu, we're back! We're here to rescue you! Foolish child! Punio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Uh, why? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Ildu, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you! Stop your mumbling, you! And mind your elders, you whelp! How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful! But, but Ildu, I want to find help! To help rescue you! No, oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an elder in mid-lecture. Never! You wonder why the old punies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours later. Or else you got that. From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. Uh, yes, I understand. Bah, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. This cell is cold, why is, which isn't good for the old back. And there's this damp stench. Eh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petunia. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. Okay. So let's go back down. Because this is a dungeon, I believe that means that enemies don't respawn. <laughs> Abandoned Punio, I did. If he doesn't know how to get down his own tree, then that's his own problem. Oh! Well, if it isn't Punio, hm, you heard me, hm, I can't say I expected you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. 
Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I'll completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna until to help you until you do. You stubborn mule! Deplorable, how dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, but, Elder. Shut your trap, Juniper, and mind me, you hear. <laughs> You'll help Mustachio here. <sighs> What'd you say your name were again? What, it was, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh, he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you. And everyone else, help Martio clear out our tree. Oh, all right, Elder, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petuni too. Oh, sounds like someone has a crush. And you're right. We have no choice. We must fight. Right, everyone? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Oh. Ten punies join the party. Their ability, not a primer. Thanks, guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? The crystal, the crystal star, eh? Hmm, yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, right. Guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty, uh, or Mario. I'm thinking you'd better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just... I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Mario? Crystal star, bottom part of the tree. Go for it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. Oh, it looks like a sun. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at that orb. You got the puny orb. All right, guys. Let's go rescue everyone. And now... Oh, and one more thing! So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? All right, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies, you have a hard time finding them. Just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give them a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Oh, goodness. They're like Pikmin. Anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Paper Mario. We successfully made it into the tree, saved the Elder from imprisonment, and now we have a way to navigate through the tree proper. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Paper Mario, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. Next time, we're going to continue exploring the depths of the Great Boggly Tree. We'll see you all then. Drez plays out.